let me open here a new application and menu inside the menu application we have one uh, single change but it is very expressive because you can do many things now inside the menu let me add here some items and choose the the team so this is my menu if I run I have the menu structure here okay and I was not able to add variables to this structure I had to do inside the events but now with the version 9 we have added this option for you to customize the menu structure uh, within the version 8 you could do a header and footer so I was able to display the header and inside the header apply some uh, variables and these variables I could also uh, customize using the CSS menu options and the HTML templates especially the HTML templates I could create special templates and apply here uh, in order to have more variables or to have something more advanced okay but it was not possible for the menu structure because the header if I add here let me just show you the menu with the header okay we are going to have another line with the header and some and sometimes people uh, want, want, want to have just this line not two lines header and structure so usually people now uh, used to add variables inside the structure so back here to script case let me turn off the header and show you the menu structure okay inside the menu structure you are able to drag uh, layers down to the menu so I can drag here one layer and inside these uh, layers you can add the variables so this is similar to the to the header uh, and footer variables but then we have added two new uh, variables the library and method so it means that you can create a library and attach to your menu or create a method it's if it's something simple you can do as a method uh, because you can go here to the programming area create a new method and then call this method uh, here or if it's something more complex for, ex uh, for example something like this where you need to call dynamic uh, informations or link with other applications then you need to use a library we are going to uh, inside the version 9 we are going to send send you guys uh, examples with uh, with libraries so we have login I'm going to show control application tomorrow and we have two examples here for uh, for the menu so this one for example save changes run so you have here this option for the login we are going to make uh, to add this example to script case already so are going to you are going to be able to use it and then if you go here you see that this is a library the name is uh, menu zero uh, one so if you go to the libraries um, tools external libraries you see a sample library already imported to the project so we can edit and check here the example so we have menu and inside the menu we have the HTML file we have the JS files and the CSS files so for example for the menu 2 this is the one we are using no we are using the one okay you have here um, you are calling the bootstrap file because we are using some bootstrap inside this menu uh, this variable here is just to say if the if the library is going to be available for a script case for public for project okay this is the level then we are adding some CSS here and uh, applying also some JavaScript and then you can you can find the JavaScript file inside the library if you know if you note we have uh, here also uh, the bootstrap library okay inside this uh, this project we have already bootstrap library imported and if you go back you can see 
uh, that we have the JS file here, the one that's being called inside the menu. So you can also create your own libraries, your own um, files, or to import your external libraries or third-party libraries to uh, your script case project, just in the way we are doing here. Okay, so this is the example two I was showing you. Now the example one. Let me add another one. Uh, the two. I guess the one I was showing was the two. Let me apply the. Uh, um, yeah, the two is this one with the bell. Yeah, here. This is just. Um, basically, this is just to add this bell here. This is the menu to. This is actually the one I was showing you. Okay, this is the same. I'm calling here the the CSS and the Bootstrap file, and then I'm applying some CSS. And you can change. Uh, for example, we are using here this glyph icon. Um, library from Bootstrap, but if you go inside the application, we can make here a test. Mm, let me open here the codes. Okay, here. So you can add, for example, we are calling a bell, but you could call, for example, an envelope uh, yeah because then it's it's gray because of the color but we have added here a small tip so you can call the library and see all the options but let me try to customize here a bit So I'm doing here inside the um, application, but then you would have to do inside the library. This is just to show, you, to show you that you can change here the image or the CSS color. And since, since the, the this library of, of Bootstrap uh, they are not images, they are like a font, so you need to color or to size as a font, okay? So you are now able to uh, add whatever you want, and we are going to send these examples inside script case, but you can also do your own and copy from the internet to bring to your uh, menu. Okay, uh, can you choose an image based on, va on variables or values? Uh, yes, this is the, I the idea actually, because here, for example, inside script case, we have this menu. Um, usually people allow you to customize the image, to customize uh, all the um, names and etc. So let's, say, let's, uh, let's imagine you have the secured model attached to this project, then you can go here uh, create a form application, for example, and then inside the form application, you will be able to edit uh, the name, the image, and it's going to bring this information from the database. And it's going to be dynamic. Or you need to change the image according to the company or according according to the user. Uh, yes, you are going to you, you are able to do that. And inside the menu options, you have also, if you want to play just with the global variable, for example, you can also apply here a value. And then it can be, for example, the one from script case to recognize the, the logged user. You can apply like this. It's going to uh, recognize the, the global variables from script case with no problem. But if you have something more complex or uh, bigger than instead of using a variable you can use a method as I said I'm going to create more examples for the future uh, to show you guys how uh, to apply more complex uh, libraries or to make this with database and uh, call images or informations dynamically okay I'll prepare this webinar for the for the near future yeah yeah as a, the picture of the, the person logged in 
you need to store uh, this picture inside a database and then call according to the login user. But then we need to do it, uh, to do this uh, together with the security model, okay?